Canadians have spoken. You want a government with a vision and an agenda for this country that is positive and ambitious and hopeful. Well, my friends, I promise you tonight that I will lead that government. The year was 2015. The swearing in of the Prime Minister. Le Premier ministre signera maintenant les registres de serment. Justin Trudeau, the leader of the Liberal Party, was sworn in as the Prime Minister of Canada, ending nearly a decade of Conservative dominance. It was an election that launched a thousand selfies. The international press was smitten by Trudeau's compelling personality, and so were the citizens of Canada. With millions of social media followers, Trudeau broke the internet with his panda cuddling, sports playing and fancy dress antics. Thank you, my friends. Merci tout le monde. And then he would turn up everywhere, giving speeches and spreading his charm. The formula that made Justin Trudeau unbelievably popular. On behalf of 35 million Canadians, we're back. <laughs> Fast forward to 2023, as Trudeau is entering his eighth year in office, things don't look as promising as earlier for him and his party. A recent poll by Ipsos found that 40% of Canadians want to see opposition leader Pierre Poilivre, a Conservative, as the Prime Minister, while just 31% vote for Justin Trudeau. As per the polls, if elections were to happen now, the Conservatives would win a majority government, deposing the Trudeau-led Liberal minority government. <laughs> Meanwhile, another survey in the month of July revealed that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is considered the worst Prime Minister in over 50 years by a section of Canadian voters. This revelation creates a stark contrast to the legacy of his father, Pierre Trudeau. Pierre Trudeau, who held the position of Prime Minister from 1968 to 1979, and again from 1980 to 1984, was revered among the Canadian populace during his tenure. With charismatic leadership and a vision for a unified Canada, he won over both his constituents and critics. But for his son, Justin Trudeau, the latest polls have come as a worrying sign. Public enthusiasm in Canada has diminished. Fractures have emerged in his ways of politics. Ahead of the elections in Canada, scheduled for autumn of 2025, one question remains on everyone's mind. Is Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau losing popularity? There's no question that Trudeau is on thin ice. Uh, his polls are at a very low ebb and dropping. Yeah, there's little question, I think, that according to these polls, if there were an election tomorrow, uh, that he would be passing into history and that he would lose. Uh, Canadians uh, no longer grant him the sort of reservoir of personal credibility that he started with eight years ago, uh, the kind of credibility that might carry through him through a crisis uh, like the Canada-India crisis, uh, without producing his evidence, for example. Uh, and that's, of course, a very relevant example today. So I think he's reaching the end of his allotted span. Trudeau's near unprecedented rates of disapproval are also due to high housing and living costs, inflation and related issues in the country. What internal problems is Canada facing at the moment? Is Trudeau concerned about his people? What's being done by the Canadian government to mitigate issues? And not just that, as Trudeau goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with India in the ongoing diplomatic spat, he seems to be facing quiet isolation and a lack of support from his allies. So what is the latest India-Canada row? The past scandals and missteps involving Trudeau? And what's at stake for Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau? 
Let's dig deeper.